Okay. Pity. Arrow, come on. Oh. Hey guys. This is my review. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 2, Episode 8. Uh, Crossroad Blues. I got Arrow here. This is my girlfriend's dog, and she's just been here basically on my lap ever since I came over here to visit her. Might as well have her in the review. Crossroad Blues is one of the most important, if not the most important episode of this entire season in terms of lore, in terms of the show. If you were ever to give someone kind of like a random episode just to watch, one that sort of established the show, established the characters, established the lore and everything that was going to happen further on, Cross Crossroad Blues is pretty much one of them. Season 1 has a lot of decent episodes here and there, but really Crossroads Blues is the key Supernatural episode for anyone who's either new or well versed with the show. The episode focuses on the idea of demons and deals. Essentially the arc of what would happen with the, f the rest of the core five seasons. I enjoy this episode immensely for its lore to its kind of touching on historical figures like Robert Johnson, as well as the back and forth with Dean and his choice about what to do considering his father made the same deal for him to save his life with the yellow eyes. Dean finally comes to terms with what his father did for him for what his sacrifice was and it's eating at him the whole time all the while they're trying to save these other people who at first he sees as people who just sold their soul for personal gain but then he sees that this one guy saved his wife like sold his soul to save his wife and he realizes that is exactly what his dad does and he kind of acts out about it otherwise I enjoy this episode also for its horror elements it's not really mentioned or done again later on in the show in its later season people when their time is coming they start seeing other people like ghouls and those effects still hang, uh, still do pretty well, and the Hellhounds are still horrifying. I remember watching this episode when it aired, and then watching it over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I've always been pretty scared of the Hellhounds. I think that the use of invisible dogs, just how they shot it, was really well done. When they do do the effects with the claws on the ground, that's really well done as well. This episode actually has two little special trivia things. Vincent Gale, he's Evan Hudson, the guy they're trying to save at the end of the episode. He actually has been in the show two more times after this, as recent as 2017. Don't ask me to say what his character was, but again, kind of going back with who I mentioned in the last episode. And this episode was actually directed by Steve Boyum. Steve Boyum started in stunts back in the 70s, and he's gone on to direct a few movies, more so TV shows. He directed a bunch of really horrible Disney movies at first, and then he started to get into TV shows. And he did this one, and he's actually been directing for Supernatural for some years. He does a fantastic job with this episode. For an episode that's not shot by Kim Manners, it's a pretty well-crafted episode. It's a really well-shot episode. It's got great horror elements. It's got great, uh, some good jokes, but... This is a very dark episode in terms of its content. So in the end, I'm going to give Crossroad Blues a 7 out of 7. I'm actually surprised I gave one this early. I, I knew this episode was good, but I didn't remember how good it was until just rewatching it. Because all the times I've rewatched this episode, that, that room that Evan Hudson's in, I could tell you almost every detail of it, how many times I've watched the ending of this episode. So now let's take a look at what you guys have to say about this episode. I imagine you guys have a lot of comments. All right, our first one here is from Cut by Ray. Crossroad Blues is great. Love when they take a historical moment and put a supernatural twist on it. The uh, whole idea of great artists being great because of their deals. Great moment when Dean realizes dad made a deal for him. Introduced to the Hellhounds. Lots of good stuff. Got another one here from Rob Hanna. Loved Crossroad Blues. Great episode. Seems like Kripke likes this story as well because he used it again in Timeless. Great show and great episode too. And he'll probably make it fit somewhere in season two of The Boys. I love how they introduce the Crossroad deals which become a complete farce in latter season. Seasons. Yes, that's true, but it was fun to watch how scary a crossroad deal was and getting ripped to shreds by a hellhound. And this one's from Tom. Admittedly, this is a pretty good one. Is there a more important episode in the entire series in Crossroad Blues? I say no. This canonized demon deals amongst other key lore for the rest of the series. The revelation that John was in hell to save Dean was huge. Damn. Now we're moving on to Croatoan being the next episode. It's kind of odd. At the end of this episode, at least for the DVD, it actually says soon, and it gives a little bit of a preview of what's going to happen, not only with the Croatoan episode, but the episode afterwards. So this episode was supposed to be 
The mid-season finale? Well, it acts like it's a mid-season finale, but it's not. Croatoan is the mid-season finale. Kind of odd, I don't know, it's, it's a little strange. Anyways, give me your guys' thoughts and comments on Croatoan, and I'll make sure to talk about those in the next review. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hero says bye-bye, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.